Hello food lovers, Mingla Ba and welcome back. You know, before moving to Ireland, I used to live in London for many years. And London is one of the world's best destinations for food, as you can get cuisines from all over the world there. And in particular, it has a great Chinatown. If you're after a quick and simple bite to eat, Chinatown in London is the best place to head to for a rice and roast duck dish. So I thought I'd create myself a Cantonese roast duck to remind myself of those times. Don't confuse Cantonese roast duck with Peking roast duck. Cantonese roast duck is relatively easy to create at home. On the other hand, Peking roast duck, or crispy roast duck as it's also known, is the dish that you have in restaurants where they serve the duck with pancakes and sauce. And this dish is relatively difficult to create at home and best left to the professionals. I'm hungry, are you ready? Let's get started. The main ingredient is of course the duck. I'm not familiar with the different breeds of duck available, but you want to make sure that you get the best one you can. I'm using this fresh one from my local supermarket. And the best thing about this is that you get the giblets as well, neatly packaged in the cavity. The remaining ingredients are all for the marinade for the duck, which is what gives it its unique taste. Some salt, any kind of salt will do, even table salt. Hoisin sauce. Did you know that hoisin is the Chinese word for seafood, but the sauce itself does not contain any seafood as an ingredient because it's mainly made from crushed soybeans. Shaoxing cooking wine. This is a Chinese wine made from fermented rice. If you can't get hold of Shaoxing wine, then use rice wine. A teaspoon of honey. This will not only help to give the duck a nice flavour, but it will also help to give it a nice deep colour. Dark soy sauce. This will also help to give the duck a nice reddish brown colour. Chinese five spice powder. You can buy this ready made at your local Asian supermarket, but if you do fancy making your own, it contains star anise, clove, cinnamon, shiso and pepper and fennel. And also a pint of hot water, that's about 500 millilitres. So on with the method of making the roast duck. The first thing that I'd like to do whenever I cook any poultry or any meat is to give it a good wash. Here's the packet of giblets that you get with a duck. It's usually stored in the cavity, so make sure that you take it out first. As I was saying, I always wash my poultry before I cook with it. But the advice that we've been given from the Irish government is that we shouldn't wash it, but cook it straight away. They seem to be saying that washing the chicken or duck will cause the spread of salmonella. But I've been washing mine for years and years with no harm. What do you guys do? Do you wash your bird before you cook with it? Anyway, regardless of whether you wash the duck or not, you need to make sure that it's dry before you start putting in the flavouring onto it. So give it a good pat down with some kitchen towels to remove any surface moisture. Then place the duck onto the metal rack of the baking tray as we make the dry rub. The dry rub is very simple and consists of mixing in one teaspoon of salt with a five spice powder. Make sure that you coat it evenly all over the duck, getting it on the underside and the inside. Then let it stand for about an hour in the fridge. While the duck marinades in the dry rub in the fridge, we can make the wet marinade by mixing the remaining ingredients together. So we're going to add the honey, shaoxing wine, soy sauce and hoisin sauce to the water. Then pour the mixture into a pan and heat it up again until it gets hot. When the liquid mixture is hot in the pan, we can ladle the marinade over the duck. Pouring the hot liquid 
over the cold duck will help to contract the skin, making it succulent as it roasts. Make sure that you get the marinade all over the duck and then let the duck rest back on the oven tray to let it dry out a little, preferably overnight. Don't pour the liquid away. We can use it to make the sauce for the duck. Just pour in the roasting juices and let it simmer to concentrate the flavour. When the duck is marinated sufficiently and the skin has dried out a little, it would look something like this. Finally, we're ready for the oven. The time that it should spend roasting depends upon your oven, but as a general guideline, the temperature should be around 180 Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. A duck of this size will take about an hour and a half to cook. You should take it out about halfway through cooking and turn it over so that it gets brown all over. After the duck is cooked properly on both sides, you can take it back out of the oven and let it rest for at least 10 minutes before chopping it up into bite-sized pieces. Your kitchen will be filled with the wonderful smell from the roasting duck and the aniseed smell from the marinade. Serve the duck with rice with the gravy poured on top like they do in the restaurants. So the all important taste test, does it come close to the taste of the duck that they serve in London's Chinatown? Let's start with the meat first. And it's a big thumbs up. So why don't you give this recipe a go yourself? As the recipe today is Chinese in origin, I'm going to teach you how to say a phrase in Chinese. And that phrase is Ni Hao, which means hello. So that's Ni Hao or hello. If you want to expand on that, you can say Ni Hao Ma, which means how are you? So that's Ni Hao Ma. So that's Ni Hao, which means hello, and Ni Hao Ma, which means how are you? So that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching today's video, and please press the subscribe button if you haven't already done so, as it really helps me out. And see you next time.